Living Seed Media brings to you God's Word, which is His comprehensive equipment for changing lives. May the Lord impact your heart as you encounter His Word. For further inquiry or counsel, contact Peace House, PO Box 971, Boko, Benue State, Nigeria. Telephone numbers 0703 036359, 0703 768119. Email address lsmedia at org, or visit our website at www.livingseed.org. Let us sit back and listen as the servant of God brings forth the word of life. to us. We ask that the word will mix with faith within us. That each one of us might touch you in a new way. Revive us and prepare us for your appearing. We want you Lord to show us your mercy as we go on today. Those that have come here with a need, please meet their needs in Jesus' name. Those that are sick, Father, stretch forth your hands to heal them. But above all, Lord, we ask those that are yet to have their names written in the book of life, Reveal the grace of God to them tonight in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask you to help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let us sit down. The theme for our meeting this few days is preparing for rapture. Preparing for the rapture. Preparing ourselves for the take off of the saints. Preparing for that blessed hope that Jesus Christ himself had given to us. We are going to, uh, for tonight, and we're going to just do general study, just for us to get familiar with the concept of the rapture in the word of God. We need to study as much as the Holy Spirit will grant us permission to understand what exactly is rapture all about. We will not be able to understand And we are going to look at men that have experienced a form of rapture in their own time. And what exactly 
was their own experience. And what was the preparation they made for that appearing? Hallelujah. Amen. I will begin by asking us to read the promise of the scripture concerning our takeoff. I would like us to begin by looking at the book of John chapter 14. John chapter 14 and we would like to read from verse 1 up to verse 4. John chapter 14 and verse 1 to 4. If you have seen it, then we can begin to read. It is important for everyone to please have their Bibles tonight and your notes. You will notice that we are not just preaching we are going to teach the word of god and so you've got to be like the Berean christian who said let me check whether this thing they are saying were actually so and we are going to to a lot of people just come to church they do not understand the basis of our faith. A lot of people are making claims and making confessions, but they don't understand what is the total counsel of God. And so tonight, we will begin trusting God to help us. Are you there in John chapter 14? Those of you that are outside, I hope you have your Bibles there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So John 14 from verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go, and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord Jesus Christ, while he was here, he went about preaching. He went about healing the sick. He went about raising the dead. He went about doing good. He had one single message he was preaching. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. He actually came to establish the kingdom. And he did that when he took the authority of the kingdom from the hand of the devil. And to be in the kingdom, there was uh, something that has to be done. The At atonement for the matter of sin. It 
it was sin that drove man outside the kingdom of God. It was sin that made man to be pushed out of the purpose of God for his life. Sin has always been the, the hindrance between God and man. And it is not possible to come back to God why the matter of sin has not been dealt with. Then you could say she fun your lati pada see or the lono nimba to ja ikwe or she koti in your doom. So we saw that Jesus Christ came to do what no man can do. Jesus Christ came to make atonement with the perfect sacrifice of himself for our sin. When he made that sacrifice, it broke down the barrier between God and man. It meant that it is possible for men who believe to actually come back to God. That is, there was power that Jesus Christ released to make us live above sin. For the Bible says, as many as received him, to them gave he the power to become the children of God. The power to relate with God without any hindrance. The power to live above sin and to have an unbroken fellowship with God. The power to walk with God on a day-to-day basis without any shadow or any cloud of darkness. The Bible says you will call his name Jesus for he shall deliver his people from their sin. So we saw that Jesus Christ came to call out certain people, certain men and women, out of the kingdom of darkness into his own kingdom. Those he has so called, he has delivered them from the life of sin. These men that have been called out of sin and out of darkness and out of worldliness, they are the people that we are beginning to talk about. Those that Jesus had redeemed and transferred from the dominion of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. The Bible said those ones, their names, were written in the book of life of the Lamb. Now, when we talk about the promise that Jesus is making here, I want you to note that it is the promise unto the believers. It is the, it is the promise unto those that have so believed that the life and the power of sin have been broken from their lives. And they are living in righteousness and they are living in holiness. They are walking with God in sincerity and truth. Now, when Jesus Christ was about to go, he began to say certain things about his coming. He began to explain to his disciples those things that will be the signs of his coming. But you see, when we want to talk about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, there are several sides to it. The first side to it is the fact that Jesus Christ is coming back here 
to establish the kingdom physically for the for another 1000 years. Ona koko ti a le gba wo ni pe Jesus Christ won pada bo si ori ile aye yi lati wa fi di ijoba re mule fun ohun egberun odun. The coming of the Lord Jesus Christ also we mean the judgment for several people in the world. I pada bo Jesus Christ ni o tun tumo si i dajo fun opolopo eniyan ninu aye yi. Now you will but when we talk about that there is still another side that we need to understand which is very very paramount to our own life it is that before Jesus Christ will come to establish his kingdom physically the believers the saints that have been working with him in the body of Christ in the church they are going to have an encounter with him. First and foremost, he is coming to take us away from here. That we may appear before the judgment seat of Jesus Christ, where each one of us as believers will give account of our life. And for us to be part of the marriage feast of the Lamb. So for us in the course of these three days, the primary focus we are having is preparing ourselves for that coming of Jesus for his church. We are not going to go talking about the government of the Antichrist, the what is going to happen at the judgment throne of God, where sinners will be brought before God in judgment. That will not be part of our discussion. I'm not sure we can have time for that. But the reason is because I am not preparing you to be there. I am not praying that you'll be inside that arrangement. What concerns you and what concerns me is how never to miss the first takeoff of the saints. Now Jesus now made a promise in chapter 14 that yes, I want you to consider quickly. He says, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. Now, why was Jesus talking like that? It was because when the disciples realized that Jesus was going to leave them, their hearts were troubled. They were confused. Fear began to grip them. Because as far as they were concerned, their master was going. The man that used to convert five loaves of bread and two pieces of fish to feed thousands will no more be around. The man that used to help them cast out devils will no longer be around. Their master and teacher that used to defend them against hazards, against criticism, against attacks, we no more be there. It's as if their vision and their hope was going to collapse. It's as if the man we left everything to follow is going. So what shall we follow? What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? What are we going to 
how are we going to cope with us what is going to happen so there was fear there was troubles in their heart there was confusion in their spirit and jesus christ noticed it jesus and as we are sitting here, Jesus is not unaware of the troubles in your heart. Jesus is not unaware of the palpitation of your heart. And all the fears that is coming on our heart. The Lord will address all your fears in the name of Jesus Christ. Now Jesus knew what was happening to his disciples. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God and believe also in me. Believe also in me. Now why did he say like that? Take me at my word. Take what I'm saying seriously. Believe also in me that what I'm saying to you it is the truth in my father's house are many mansions I want us to please note that verse 2 before we leave it now when we talk about rapture when we talk about being being cut off from this place. Some people want to attack the doctrine of our takeoff. And they say, Where shall we all go? If there is a take-off, where shall we be? How can you think that all of us will just go there at once? For several people, they are not expecting to go anywhere. Some were thinking that what will happen is that all the beautiful houses in this world, God will just drive away all the wicked people and they will say my children go and take over those places and father said that when Jesus said in my father's house there are many mansions that he didn't mean anything physical he said but I want you to know that when he says like that that is what he meant you don't need to worry yourself where we shall be what did he say where I am there you will be also hallelujah Amen. And some people were imagining and saying, how can that be? But do you know that the truth of the matter is that there are many angels than human beings on earth? Do you know that there are many, many more demons? Eh? than human beings. And yet, the Bible told us about how they dwelt in the heavenlies. And do you know that even when you look at the, the earth, what we call the planet earth. It's a very, very small planet compared with other bigger planets. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you know that sometimes what you look up like that and say it's a star, it's actually could be very, more than 10, 20 times bigger than the whole earth put together. So there is no need to worry your head where we go put those mansions. Then in my father's house are many mansions. 
Yes. If it were not so, I will have told you. I want you to listen to that. If it were not so, I will have told you. I have no business telling you a lie. I have no business cajoling you. I don't need to excite you for nothing. If it were not so, I will have told you. I want you to look at that very closely. If there are not many mansions in my father's house, I will have told you. I can't deceive you. And I want to ask you a question. Can Jesus deceive us? Huh? Can Jesus cajole us? No. If it were not so, I will have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. Amen. I go to prepare a place for you. In my father's house. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. That's where we are going to begin our discussion. I will come again. Hallelujah. Amen. Please note that. It did not say, I may come again. It did not say, perhaps, or maybe, I may come back. What did he say? I will come again. I will come again. And do what? That was shaking. And receive you unto myself. That was I will come again. And receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Now, please note what I'm talking about. This is the special promise to the church. This is not yet talking about Jesus coming in glory to rule on the earth. This is not yet dealing with when he will come and all unbelievers, all the wicked shall be brought before him and they will be disciplined in his presence. This advent that we are talking about is for him to come and receive us to himself. That where I am, where you may be also. Let's read verse 3 once more before I leave. That. And if I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who made this promise? Talent you say, Lady Yi. Eh? Now, what did he say? Can you continue, sir? Say, if it were not so, also, I would have told you. Amen. Amen. Now, that's the first question I want to put to you. Do we have a reason to doubt Jesus? As Jesus said something before that we can remember that he did not do. Eh? I'm asking you, I want you to answer that question. Eh? Alright. 
if he had never failed in any of his promises, <laughs> He will not fail in this particular one. Hallelujah. Amen. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. He, he went, went away and, and promised that he's coming, coming back, back again. again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Oh, glory, hallelujah, he's coming back again, he's coming back for me, my Lord is coming back for me, oh, glory, hallelujah, he's coming back for me, amen, 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 if I go, and he has gone. Are you remember? When you look at Acts chapter 1. Let's look at Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. And verse 6. Acts chapter 1. And verse 9. Verse 10. And verse 11. And when he has spoken this thing, why they beheld, it was taken up. And a cloud received him out of their sight. And why they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus. Jesus know ye. This same Jesus. Jesus know ye. This same Jesus. Jesus know ye. Not another one. This she Not his shadow. This she ojijire. This same Jesus. Jesus contain wo ye. Which is taken off from you into heaven. Ye agba soke onu kuro lo wo ye. Amen. Shall so come in like manner. Yo pada be gege. As ye have seen him go into heaven. Be atiri ti on lo si onu. Hallelujah. Amen. I will you come back. Ba wo ni yo ti e pada wa. In the same manner as he went. It went as a cloud received him. And in the same manner, it will come again. He said, and if I go, and because he has gone, are you hearing me? And if I go, and prepare a place for you, I will come again. And what will I do? I will receive you to myself. That where I am, there, 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 in the same place that I am there you may be also and he has gone and why the disciples were looking two angels appeared you men of Galilee what do ye gaze what are you looking again? For this same Jesus. This same Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This same Jesus. Which is taken all from you into heaven. Shall so come again. In like manner. As you have seen him go into heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to listen. Please, are you listening to me? I'm just laying general foundation before we can go on with our study. How did Jesus go to heaven? How? 
Because he said, in the same manner, will he come? The truth is that they were talking with him. He made some certain statements. You shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And you will be witnesses of me. In Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. In Judea. In Judea. In Judea. In Samaria. In Samaria. Unto the uttermost part of the earth. Do you understand? Do you understand? And as you were saying, yes sir. Yes sir. Suddenly. The man they talked with was lifted. And they watched him. They saw him go. He did not just suddenly disappear. They saw him go. Supernaturally. He was given a flight. And he went. Hallelujah. 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 And the Bible said, in the same manner, he will come again. Now, what I want to say to you, is that the coming of Jesus that I'm talking about, to receive what to himself, just as he was taken off from us, so will he come. It was an event. See if the church is also going to be an event. It's not going to be a process. Uh-uh. It's not a process. not something that will be happening small, 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 gradually. Some people say, well, you know, Jesus is coming gradually. No. It's an event. An event that will happen. And when it has happened, oh, men will know it. They say, He has come. Yes, He has come. What will be the evidence? I will receive you to myself. I will take you also as I have taken up now. Hallelujah. Amen. As Jesus was taken up, you don't understand what I'm saying. Please, all of you stand up here. Can you imagine that the disciples were like this? They were discussing. He was saying, Some people ask him, Excuse me, sir. When will you restore the kingdom to Israel? One of them asked a question. Ah, Jesus said, As regards the time and the hour that the Father has set in his power, nobody knows. And actually, that's not your business. It's not for you to know. It's not your concern. But you shall receive power. When the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me. Where? Both in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, in Judea, Judea, in Samaria, Samaria, and the uttermost part of the world. Understand? Do you understand? And they were still talking like that. They were still talking like that. When the chariot came, and it was late. And they saw him rise. And they said, ah! He was talking to us now. And see him going. And they were watching him go. And he was going. And he was seeming to wave hand to them. Bye bye. Don't disappoint me. Make sure you are my witnesses. And he went. And they were looking. Because they knew exactly where he was taken up. And they saw him go. And they were saying, Ah! 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 Eh? 
Eh? Is going home. Oh my lord. He has gone. Oh, the law. And they were standing there. The the Why were they standing there? You know, the because the that was the point. Where it was taken off. It was not that uh, it was uh, something was happening as a process and it was decaying small, small, and suddenly everything finished. No. He went. So the angel said, Those as it happened, this same Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This same Jesus. It shall come again. It shall come again. And when he comes, he will receive you to himself. How? Just as he was received to heaven. In the same way. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Are you getting what we are talking about? That is the blessed promise that Jesus made. Some people say, how can it happen? Just as it happened before. That is how it will happen again. It has happened before. Hallelujah. Amen. You remember that Elijah was talking with Elisha. And they were going. What in the Lord? They were discussing. What in sorrow? Elisha said, Elijah saw I want the double portion of your anointing. Ah, Elijah said, ah, That's very serious. Elijah said, You have asked a hard thing. And what you I'm not the one to give you that. But if you see me, so what you bury me when I am taken off. Hallelujah! Amen. It has happened before. Rapture has taken place before. On a smaller scale. With some individual. So when we say it will happen. It is not that we are talking something and say we cannot be. How can that be? God has done it before. And as they were talking. They were just talking. Ben, one, sort of law. one by one talking. And the and the he was saying, but you know, if you see me when the when the when the when they come to take me, then you will receive it. That's all you need to do. Anytime from now. I may be taken off. My time of being catch up is, is here now. So let's be going. I don't know at what point, but any time from now. And can you imagine they were going? Suddenly, the chariot came from above. And it took his brother, his, his master. And the things that they're carrying him up. He said, my father, my father, are you going? I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. You will not go, you will not go. Don't go away. Ah, the thing has carried him. As he was holding his dress, the dress fell back. The man left. God has done it before. So when we talk about the rapture of the saints, we are not talking what cannot happen. We are talking of what God is going to do. God has done it before. It happened to Enoch. The Bible says one day, Enoch just disappeared. They look everywhere for him. The Lord took him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say this same Jesus. In the same way. Which is taken off from you into heaven. Shall so come. In like manner. As we have seen him go. Into heaven. Listen. Some people say. 
Eh, eh, Jesus is already here. I will come to you, but ah, yes, you must be one. Be that's not what the Bible says. Yes, you see, people are suffering one in him. Yes, we know Jesus is here in the spirit. I will come to you, one, but you are not me. The way two or three are gathered together in my name, there and there, me. People are suffering in the kingdom. They are making that matter back up. They are looking for me. They are looking for me. But that was not how it was. It was taken up. I was still taking off. It's coming back for me, my, my Lord, Lord is coming back for me. He went away and promised that it's coming back for me. Oh, it's coming back for me, my Lord is coming back for me. Glory, hallelujah, it's coming back for me. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to go further. Understanding this blessed hope of the church. This promise that God has made to his people. And as we go further today, all I'm doing is to lay a general foundation for our study. Because when, when you don't have this blessed hope in your life, if you do not understand what God has promised us. You are likely to keep living your life carelessly. How will it happen? How will rapture take place? How will it be? Hallelujah. Amen. Let's look at what the Bible says to us. In the book of Thessalonians, the Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter Thessalonica, 4. Can you read, can you? We just read that. We are not going to do a position on it tonight. All we are doing tonight is just to lay general foundation. From tomorrow, we are now going to details of studying what are the signs, what are the issues to watch. As we are approaching the end of the age. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, there was this exhortation in verse 13, verse 14, 16, and verse 16, 17. But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren. That's good. You see, God doesn't want you to be ignorant. Don't be ignorant about what God wants to do for us. So many church members are ignorant of God's plan. In many churches, men don't understand what God is saying to his church. I don't want you to be ignorant. It's not the will of God for you to be ignorant. Concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Amen. Amen. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord. By the word of the Lord. This is not human fiction. This is not human wisdom. This is not a philosophy. This we say to you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. I want you to listen. 
For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the, of the archangel, and with the trump of God, with the trumpet, and the dead in Christ. Then, then, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them. Where? Where? In the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, I don't know how to put it. I'm just happy. When I remember that this word is normal, whatever is happening here, I know it is coming for me. One of these days, one of these days. Hallelujah. Amen. I will be cut off. I will be taken. Along with the same. Now, let's understand that scripture quickly before we go from there. He said, listen. This we say to you by the word of the Lord. That in the day of the Lord. In verse 16. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven. Let me first ask you a question. Where did he go on that day of first of Acts chapter 1? Verse 11. Where did he go? So, from where are we expecting him? Eh? It's from heaven. Oh, and the Hallelujah. Amen. Listen to the scripture. The Lord Himself. Not his representative. Not an angel. The Lord himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I, me, myself, I will come again to do what? To do what? To receive you to myself that where I am you might be there also now the Bible says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Those that died in Christ Jesus. Wherever they were buried. Wherever they were buried. What will happen to them? They will rise. Some of you say, well, what are you saying? Do you remember that when Jesus Christ went to hell? And he was there for three days. On the day of his resurrection. Do you remember that the Bible says, as he rose, many days, that were in the grave. What happened to them? They rose with him. And where did they go? They went to the bosom of Abraham. Straight. Sarah. So what we are saying has happened before. You say, ah, we have never seen this before. At Riri. At Oje Hallelujah. 
We have seen it before. It has happened before. It is an event. And it's going to happen again. So that scripture says. The dead in Christ. Shall rise first. We are talking of the rapture of the saints. It is not every day that we rise that time. Those that died in sin, they will still be dead. Those that died drinking, they will be dead. Those that died in the house of Harlot, they will be dead. Those that died in unbelief, they will be dead. For those that sleep in the Lord, we cannot prevent them. They will rise back. As the Lord Himself descend from heaven. Listen to the word of God. He said, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God, the dead in Christ shall rise first. After that, we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the air, I mean in the clouds. We shall be caught up together with them in the cloud. So do what? To do what? To meet the Lord. Where? In the air. So that coming that he said, he will not land on the earth. Because it's not yet coming to establish. What is it coming to do? To receive us. To take us. To catch us. To himself. And you see that scripture says. And so. And so. And so. Be, 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 shall, uh, shall we ever be with the Lord? Did you understand that scripture? Only only That when the Lord comes back, with a great shout. That all the dead in Christ Jesus, they will hide their names and they will rise from their dead. And nothing can hinder them. And those of all that are alive, that are still behind, Hallelujah. Amen. That immediately, immediately, that we shall be cut up. We shall be cut up. And we shall join those people that have resurrected. The Bible says, To meet the Lord in the sky. There's going to be a meeting. A meeting of the Lord and his saints. I will be there. Are you hearing me? That's where I want to be. That's my class. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, and so, shall we ever be with the Lord? That's how we shall be. You know what we are saying? It looks unreasonable to human beings. How can you say that? Yes. That was how the sons of prophets were doubting the take-off of Elijah. Were they also not 
He said, maybe it's one wind that went and carried and put him on the tree. So they went everywhere looking, 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 his Lord has come to carry him. Oluwa, not the bella. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Eh? All right. We we'll go again. How will this happen? How will this happen? How will this happen? All we are dealing with today. Oh, the answer, Loni. We're just trying to understand. What is the concept of this take off of the thing? What is this? Do we understand it well? That's what we are doing today. After I finish that, we will be praying. We will be praying. Then you will go back home. Then we'll come back again tomorrow and see what God will do for us. Amen. Amen. Now, follow me back to the book of Matthew. Where Jesus was again talking about this great experience. Great great expectation for the body of Christ. Now, in Matthew 24, are you with me? Make sure you are opening your Bible. I don't want you to go and say the, the brother said something. Me, I don't know where he is in the same. No. You know, get your Bible, Matthew 24, verse 14. And let's go gradually. If I'm too fast for you, tell me I will wait. Can you pay me? I'm fast for you, tell me I will wait. Can you pay me? I'm too fast for you, tell me I will wait. Hallelujah. Amen. In chapter 24. Verse. Let's start from verse 36. But of that day. And hour. No word, no man. No, not the angels of heaven. But my father. Because Baba Are you hearing that? Look at the Bible. I want you to listen well. Well. Of that day. An hour. What does that mean? It will happen on a particular day. It will happen on a particular day. That day we have a day. It will be something like January uh, 24, 19 something. It will be one day. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Say, of that day. He didn't say of those days. Which means it won't be happening gradually. <laughs> <and> say, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> rapture is beginning. Oh. <laughs> Some people are beginning to go. <laughs> so those of you, you better begin also to get ready. Maybe it will be your turn next week. <laughs> of that day. So there's an identity. And hour. If it will be 12 o'clock, it will be 12 o'clock all over the world. If it is 3 p.m., 
it will be 3 p.m. everywhere. If it is 10 a.m. That hour. It will happen simultaneous. There is a day. And there is an hour. That is a very serious matter. Of that day, and that hour. So, what we are talking about is that there is a day. And there is an hour. Of that day, when that day comes, it will be a day. In fact, when that day comes, it will be a day. In fact, if it is a day, at the hour of 12 o'clock. The day we break. Oh, the day we break. We start normally. 6 a.m. Nothing will happen. Everything will be normal. 9 a.m. People will still be doing their business. Even 11 a.m. Everything will be normal. Even quarter to 12. Everything will be normal. Because, because the hour is yet to come. And I will see how the master will be watching. Looking. It remains 15 minutes. It will be going. It will be going like that. Then 10 minutes. So that you go to the house. When the hour knocks. Like that. Then the hour That's what we are talking about. I want you to listen. Because you need to understand. What but of that day, an hour, at no wet, no man. That is the only problem. No man knows of that day. And of that hour. No, not, not the angels of heaven. Even angels do. On that day like this. Even angels will just be going their normal duty. They will just be doing their own thing. They won't know. When the day comes. And at the very hour. It will be a surprise. Even to the angel. But my father only. It's a tough secret in Baba. He is watching that. Baba is watching the hour. Oh, Baba. Baba is looking at the hour. Baba is watching. Oh, He tells Jesus. Oh, Just keep cool. Oh, It remains small. Oh, Small. I'm watching your time. When the hour comes, you will descend. And bring them. There's a day. There's an hour. Some say, excuse me, sir. How shall we know? Maybe if that day remains tomorrow. Maybe the sun will not come up. Or maybe there will be no market. Look at Jesus. Said, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. How was the day of Noah? For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. 
they were marrying and giving in marriage. Until when? Until when? Until when? Until the day. Marie Bashiria. May the Lord open your eyes. See, there were days before the day of the flood. They were eating and drinking. So they will be eating and drinking. One they are doing party. Everybody was going about their business. But when you alone look at green, want to share to one. They were married. One day there were marriage ceremonies. People were distributing their marriage cards. Jenny, I went in your way, in way, in way, see, but I won't. Music band were putting together and they're tuning their, their guitar, how they were singing. You know, there were married. Well, one way I there were praise singers. There were drummers. And there were business women. They were doing their own. Marrying and giving in marriage. That is to tell you that all normal activities continue. Until the day. Do you know that there was a day? A particular day. When the flood of Noah took place. Do you know that? Uh, the Bible says, until the day the day that Noah entered the ark. You see, the joy of my heart is that the Bible has been very consistent. Before the world was destroyed in the days of Noah, rapture took place. You will know that Enoch was raptured in chapter 5. Eh? Enoch was taken off before that word of Noah was destroyed. And before that word destroyed, there was a day that Noah entered the ark. Once he entered the ark, God said, finish. The word can go now. Now, the Bible says, and they knew not until the flood came. And took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Let me ask you. Is this not clear enough? Huh? Is this not clear enough? He said, When me, I don't understand. I don't. What do you not understand? Is this not explicit enough? He said, They knew not. And the Lord came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Look at the way he said it. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Shall. It will happen just like that. When you sell a the coming of the Son of Man. We were That how shall it be? There's no matter. Maybe it will be like that. Maybe it will not be like that. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then, 
then nigba na ni akoko na shall you be in the fear ni awon meji yo wa ni oko what are they doing on the field kini won ma se ni oko eh they will be walking won ma si se boya won ma pa ka ni o tabi kan pa won wa su amen praise the lord hallelujah they will be walking won ma si se wo si ma takuro so and they will be talking that o ri si ah ah we look at this year mu de ro pe yo yo tagan ni and i thought the year will be bigger won mo pe bi o ti ri bin ti na le le i don't know it's going to be as much as this ah 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 ewe to wa lori e to se ti gidi bi eni pe nkan wa nu e and the plant was so living won mo takuro so and they will be confessing confessing awon mi won mo soro nipa oselu and some will be talking about politics be njo mo be awon baba ngida to ba san jo mo ti wa ni se kini ba do you know that baba ngida and baba sanjo and they will be talking about politics everybody will be discussing gbogbo awon eni normally yo ma soro gege bi o ti ye tu shabi on the field awon meji yo wa ali oko that day ni ojo na and at that hour at ni akoko na Hallelujah! Amen. When the trump of God shall sound, and Jesus Himself shall descend, and Jesus shall arise, you shall call the last you keep. That brother, Ara kuni no, that he is prepared. You see, but you see, even if he's far away on the farm. You don't need to come to church. Oh, ni lo lati wa si ile Olorun o. Dear on the farm. Ni be ninu oko ni bi to wa. Abara wa lo. Ibe lati gba pade ni ese Jesu. Hallelujah. Amen. O ba wa lo ko wa nba dagri. Even if you are in bad dagri. Pe ah, elo me ma pe eh kaka de money wa ni je ki brother o travel o. Some people will be saying that that and we know we will not have allow our brother to travel. It's not going to be like that. I want me o wa nu oko. I want me some people will be in the bus. Won do ko nu oko. And they will be sitting down. Let's take it. And immediately to pass it to work at the end. When the hour is come, they are caught up. They are going to be caught up. <laughs> And I mean, you don't go near that. And I say, ah, where is the woman sitting beside you? Ah, Ari. We, we we don't see him. Kilo Chile. What has happened to her? Ah, ah. I'll pay We shall meet there. Top of the line, he's in there. When it if if it happens now, we must be well equipped. Even as I'm here in Lagos, here we meet one Boko. And my wife is at uh, Boko. Me says, I need to make a new way down. We must be aware that we meet. I don't need to begin to pray and say, God, don't forget my wife. Oh, don't know about the morasile. If my wife is also prepared over there, the same hour. Me a Boko Kono. He say thirty minutes after. It's not going to be thirty minutes after. He say two hours after. It's not going to be two hours later. No need on pay. Yeah, we make money. Tiwamba wa ati. I will get back to Boko and say, "Where is my wife?" Oh, her own is coming. No, I can't pay the loan. Man, we are going to meet here. And you know what, Debbie? I say, Ah, you are here already. Ah, Emran, Debbie. I say, Yes, I come. Time, what time? What time? What time? Twelve o'clock. Let me come. I will check with me. It was twelve o'clock. I didn't know how it happened. That's how it was. And that is how it's going to be. It's not going to be a special day. Kishe, pe yo jo jo kon ti o ya to pata pata. Koni ti oju abami kan kan. Kishe oju abami. It will be ordinary day. Ojo laso bayi na ni yo ri. That same day like this. Ojo kon na bayi bi ojo to ni. Orun o yo. Orun ma yo there will be sun. Yo yo. The sun will rise. Can you go, man? Lost your journey. Our people will be going about their business. Look at the Bible. Ejeka o bibeli. He said, two women shall be grinding at the mill. Bibeli so ipe awo biri meji yo jumo malo lopo. Did you understand that? Ija oni oye le yi. Awo biri long lo ege. The two women that are going to grind cassava at the mill. Ni idi ero won ma so pe baba elero o lo temi o ni lo temi mo ti gbe kini sile lata na o ti lo temi it will be a natural experience a se iriri ti aye bi a se iri yi ibi ti elero yo ti fe da ogi ti e sinu ero and where the grinder would like to put even his own uh, material inside to ba ti wa ninu awon ta ti koruko won sinu iwe yi if the man has been his name has been written in the book of life esekese immediately the woman shall be cut off ah, 
Obinrin to lo giyida. And the girl that will be saying, "Ah, where is the owner of this?" Ebo sin ba mi soro ni sin. Ah, the woman was talking with you now. And they were saying, "Look at that, she's going, she's going, she's going." Be want to read Jesus in long journey. I just saw Jesus Christ going up to that. Only loyal. They would say, "Ah, this woman is going up." Then you won't hear what now. And the same way they will hear. We are both in law. And see how they are both in law. How we are going? Listen to me. That is let let see me. I want mirror. Some people won't fall while last show. Some people will hold your clothes. Be Elisha, Boshe, Fasho, man. Just as Elisha hold. The clothes of Elijah. A wuni yo jabo ali jabo ma. Amen. Oh, you are, you are not telling them again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We can only leave our clothes. Asho wa ni kona ale fisile saying. We are gone. Ati lo. We are gone. Ati lo. Your baby. We say, mommy, where are you going? Is there? Sorry, oh, I have to. Oh, my God, I don't have to. My mother, I don't have to. Oh, my God, I don't have to. Oh, my God, I don't have to. Oh, my God, I don't have to. If your name is not in the book of life, if I go to any side, a discussion can come. There will not be room for any discussion. There will be no discussion. There will be no analysis. There will be no explanation. For this year, I will not have to. For this year, I will not have to. Two women shall be guiding at the meal. Oh, baby, make your mother love her. And the one shall be taken. I will see more of her. And the other, as the fear can be silent, watch therefore. Netorino, Emma, son, for ye know not what hour. Netoriti, he come on wakati. Did you know that Jesus was talking of what hour? Eja, we ma kwenye Jesus in sunny pa wakati no. So you know the watching we are talking about is not just watching for one month. That's why our fasting is not a month, one month fasting. I say this month we are waiting on the Lord. We are fasting. We are fasting. Uh-uh. It's a watching, not of only days, but of the hour. So both of us are in that a day started this morning. Nothing has happened up to five o'clock. It doesn't mean that it don't happen. In case somebody at nine o'clock, ni babada. If God has appointed it to be nine o'clock, everything will continue till eight thirty. Everything today will continue until eight thirty. Until quarter to nine. Five minutes to now, as my mama. Somebody who go 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 make so cool. Say, "Mama, what's my?" I want me on my sorrow business. I want to meet your mama sorrow. They will be talking about your business. Tomorrow dollar. And when tomorrow come? Eh, Joe. Tomorrow dollar. When tomorrow? Buy me more check in Los Union Bank. Please take this check to Union Bank. Eh, so by the sign right now. And after you have signed it, call Bob Wunye. Collect the money. Go to Bamini, Victoria Island. And that bring it to me at the Victoria Island. Watch him answer. Five minutes to the time. They will be talking business. Five minutes to time. So back to our Coco. And uh, when it is time, move to any party. Go to the answer. They will not even conclude their discussion. So you are you, our Lord. And the Lord, the trumpet will sound. My God. Just like that. I want us to stop our analysis at this point tonight. All I am doing tonight is for you to understand the concept of the takeoff that we are talking about. You know, the so you can imagine that it doesn't happen to happen. It, do, it may not happen on Sunday. We may not be in fellowship. It doesn't have to be. Are you hearing me? Talk. And in First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Look at First Corinthians fifteen. And I pray that God will give you understanding. All of this I'm doing today, just to establish the concept. Then we can pray together. Verse 51. Behold, 
I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. But we shall all be changed. In a moment. In a moment. Not small, small. Not gradually. Not in stages. Are you hearing me? How? In a moment. Logan, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised in corruption, and we shall be changed. In a moment, Logan, in a moment, Logan, in a moment, Logan. Just in a moment. Logan, in your cell. I've been trying to understand what is a moment. Most of you, that in your year, can you tell us too much? In that time, Sonic by Logan, a moment may not be more, may not be up to a second. In that time, so bad. Only my do, only my toy is a do come. He just said, Who? And we're gone. I can't do boom. I see law. That is coming. A lady, oh, Bawa, is coming to power. Oh, Bawa, see, Mushel. Is going to happen. Yo, seller. It has happened before. What is seller? Some individuals have experienced. I went in your car. Come, what you need? Really, really. It's going to happen again. Ben, you used to sell it. Let us see. Now, in order for me to stop. Ki, imba le dani duro. So that we can pray tonight. Ki imba le ni apa lati badura ni ale yi. There are two questions I want you to put in your heart. I better make you come out more back of your account. When Jesus said, Nick, but Jesus saw we pay him that of the day. When they were need to work at need your journal and of the hour. At it work at you know, no wet no man. For see any can it your more, not even the angel. Pay a one girl if I look at you, more for my father only. So, Baba, ba me, you are alone on the corner, more. And he says, What you are so we pay? Watch, therefore. Only to you know, Emma, Sora, for you know not what hour. Let only pay you come more, what at you know? Your Lord is coming. The only one, are you there? Verse 43 of chapter 24 says, But know this. Matthew Ori can he lend you a good essay? 43. He can't lend you a good essay. But know this. So, what can he come on? He can. If the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief will come, he will have watched. He will have not suffered his house to be broken. Therefore, be you also ready. For in such an hour that ye think not, the Son of Man, come in. When we talk about preparing for rapture, it is a preparation that has to be continuous. It is not a preparation that is located in one place. Because you know not the hour. You see, when the Bible talks of the hour, that is a very serious matter for me. That, that hour, that particular hour, where will he meet you? Maybe you have been trying not to commit fornication. But you think we are doing that in my share, But the hour so when you work at you know, that you chose to fall, the onion, that is, subu, is the hour or the work at you know, that the trumpet sounds. See if you do.
those of you that are beating your wives. Whether that hour that you quarrel with your wife, the Lord comes. Yeah. And because it will happen in a moment, there will be no chance to say, Joseph. Because I've never done like this before. It's so late today that I beat her. Lord, I've never beaten her before. You, you can, can ask her. Say, but this one is a mistake. There shall be no space of time. Say, in a moment. Can I ask you? What are you doing not to miss rapture? Don't forget that I began by saying rapture is for those that have been delivered from the life of sin. Rapture is for those that are looking for Jesus without sin in their lives. It is not for those who become holy on Sundays. Because it may happen where you are on the field pulling out you. It may happen where you are struggling to enter a bus. It may happen where you are grinding pepper. It may happen at the grinding mill. It may happen where you are fetching water. You may be sleeping on the bed with your husband. And that hour will come. Are you in a state that any hour you are right with God. Some of you say, well, I try, I try. You see, I try. I'm going some small, small, small. I'm really, really changing my life little by little. I just thank God. It's just this little thing that remains. Are you sure that at that hour, you will be ready to go. Awa ko ti le ma so ipe a mo ti le kukun yanju aye mi si yin pada ti e die na lo koku ije o mo wi pe ni wakati oluwa lede are you sure that your life as as i'm talking now is fit for heaven ije won ni dani loju pe bi ati soro lowo lowo yi aye re o ye fun ijoba olorun have you settled every quarrel between you and the lord jesus ije iwo ti ba olorun laja gbogbo ija to wa le arin iwa ati olorun have you settled every issue between you and the savior ije iwo ti yanju gbogbo oro ti o wa le arin re ati olugbala have you ended every every matter that can discolor you in the kingdom of God? I'm asking you a question that even is <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Be very careful. Be very careful. It's not my business. It's your business. Because on that day I will go. I will have gone. And just in a moment, only a brother Joe Badu and Fumi Kuni Sadu and Johnny. There will be nobody to pray for you. There will be John nobody. To... And you can't pull somebody along. Oh, because you let find the candidate. Pastor. Where? Alufa. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope that day you remember. Tomorrow, we pray your John. I hope all the assistance pastors that are going with him. Yeah. Do you know that if any of those ones don't have what it takes to rise, they can't go with Baba. 
he will go. I want my law. It is when he gets over there. In the air. And the people will begin to cry say, Ah, they have not taken us away. Finished. Finished. Every sinner cannot go. But by let's share, Nicole, the law. All compromisers will not go. All hypocrites will not go. What we know you to be is not what you are in your heart. You behave as if you are more spiritual than what you are in your heart. You may not go. You not go. You may not go. You may not go. The question I'm talking about is of the hour. If it were a matter of days, and it is happening small, small, and then maybe some of us will say, but you have said that before it is my turn, let me begin to prepare. Lord so what is going to happen in the same day and in the same hour suddenly you won't hear the news of another it is when we get there that we shall meet I say ah so you have come here we are going to arrive there at the same time they will say, ah, some people are still coming behind. Uh -uh. No. Because it is that hour. And in that day, as I stop here, dear brother, dear sister, thank you for coming for this meeting. But, but I know that this is nothing if you don't make it. If can you walk over the By the time we get there, and we could not see you, you have missed. And if you have missed this one, it is a great loss. It's a great loss. If you miss this one, it is a great loss. It's a great loss. This one is not a matter of my wife and I, we are going. If you don't have those things that will qualify you to be raptured, you will just be looking at your wife, you'll be watching her going. And as they saw Jesus, him, Jesus, as they saw Jesus Christ, don't look. Uh, he was going to heaven, yes, and they were looking at him like this. In the same way, many husbands will be watching their wives. Oh my dear Lord. Ah, she has gone. Oh my dear Lord. She has gone. Oh my dear Lord. She has gone. Holy. You will see. But my prayer is this. Having come to church. Having been part of this church. Some of you have been singing in the choir. You have been singing well. We thank God for your song. But. Are you sure? Are you sure you have stopped living in sin? That's the only guarantee. The women fellowship. We know you are here. 
God, are you sure? The kind of prayer you need to pray today is not the one you are praying for people to hear. And we are preaching now. Because Jesus said nobody knows the day and the hour. We cannot even say categorically that it may not happen today. It may happen. It may happen. The day that Moses disappeared. It was like normal day. They just heard that God said, Let him come to the mountain as he used to go. And on that day, that was all. That was the end. There is a day. I want you to bow your head as we pray together. I want you to bow your head as we discuss with God. This is not the time to go around. This is not the time to look at another person. It's not the time to listen to another person. All ushers get somewhere to pray. Let's pray together. All preachers find a place to pray. All officers take a place to pray. All Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come and walk now. Come, Lord, among us. Come, Lord, among us. Come, among us. Come, Jesus, among us. Come and walk now. Don't let our lives run in vain. Help men to check their hearts. Help us, Lord, to discover ourselves. Help us, Lord, to discover ourselves. That you are giving us an opportunity to listen to a message of this nature. That you are giving us a chance, Lord, to listen to what you are saying. Jesus. I cry to you this afternoon. Come down and walk here. Come down, come down, come down, O oh God. Ponko to le de mi lo na ye meta lo kan ba mi mo kuro. Ponko to le de mi lo na ye o. Jesu Christi ba mi mokuro bo showo ni ohun ko wo to le de mi lo na ye o Jesu Christi o do wo re o ise kise to le de mi lo na ye o Jesu Christi ba mi mokuro Olorun wa ohun ko ohun to le de mi lo na ye o baba loke 
baba mi mu kuro olorun wa o un ko un to le yemi le se yi o jesus christ ba mi mu kuro olorun wa o un ko un o to le so mi de ni eyin Baba loke ba mi mo kuro beke riba sanda ba kuri ma shanda ba kunto krobus kunta bari Holy Spirit let the Spirit of Truth come down it is time for you Lord to walk in this place it is time for you Lord to do what a man cannot do. It is time, O oh God, for you to check our lives again. Those that are growing cold in their faith, those that are beginning to compromise, those that are beginning to tell lies, those that are beginning to commit sins secretly, those that have lost hope of your coming, Father, do something now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. While we are praying, we are still praying, oh. As in Tumba Dura Siben. We are still praying. As in Tumba Dura Siben. What will be your gain? Can you enjoy it, then? If you miss this matter. See, we're back, but I know if we're so kill us on you. Where will you go? Nibony, where you alone? Whom will you talk to? Whom will you pray with? When all others are gone. You are a husband in this meeting. Your life is not straightforward. Your Christian life is not correct. Your you are a young man in this meeting. You know that you have not stopped sinning. You are still committing sin. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? You want to perish? My dear sister. You are still going secretly to commit sin. What are you talking about? What are you doing? Are you trying to tempt the Lord? Are you Lord? pastor. Are you preaching so well and yet you are not living right? There's still a secret area of your life that is not right with God. Don't you know that the hour may come any time? Holy Spirit. Don't let us go like this. Don't let our lives be a waste. Touch us again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, if you have heard his voice, harden not your heart. You do not know the hour. You don't know the hour that your Lord may come. Time has come for us to pray together. And this prayer today is a serious prayer. You want to plead with God. 
Don't let me miss out. Oluwa ma se je ki padanu. And we're going to take this song. I'll call you. Don't allow me to go empty handed. As we are taking the song, if you know that there are immatans in your life that must be made correct tonight, there are issues where you need to make life right with God. There are secret habits that you have been fighting and you've not been able to overcome, and you need to overcome it. There are spots, spots in your character that and may hinder you from rising. There are these secret sins that will not allow you to make it. And as we take this song, as a matter of prayer, everybody will be praying. Some people were running very well, and when it remains small, they miss the road. The Bible says, He that think it is standard, let him take it. Let him some ran very well until they fell. I want you to pray with me. Don't allow me to go empty hand. But as we are praying that song, if you now saw that, look, my life has to be made right. I'm, I'm still struggling with sin. I'm still struggling. My life is not right. There are things that people don't know about me. Yet, that is where I am. Jesus, come and help me. Don't let me miss it. You know, those that have already died, they can't make a change anymore. All the people that died this last weekend, they can't make a change anymore. Their own is finished. But God has given me and you another opportunity. As we take that song, if you think you must make your life right with Jesus, you must confess that secret sin. You must let Jesus really uproot that thing in your life. You want God to prepare you for that day. For that hour. As we are taking the song. And as the Spirit of God convicts you. Don't wait for anybody. You just stand up on your feet. You are saying, Lord Jesus. Don't allow me. To go, to go empty. Don't allow me. Don't allow me. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go empty. Don't allow me. Don't allow me. Don't allow me, don't allow me, Jesus, to go. Oh, don't allow As we are singing this song, the Lord is convicting you that this little, little section of your life, this area of compromise of sin, those secret things that you don't want anybody to know about, Stand up and hand it over to the Savior and say, Lord, don't let me go empty handed. Don't let me miss it. Don't let me ridicule me and say, But you have been going everywhere with the Bible and you are still left behind. 
God bless you. Don't die. If Jesus is touching your life, if you are outside or you are inside, you can stand up and say, God, my life must not be a waste. Help me from this matter. God bless you, friend. Don't let my life be a waste. Don't let this sin, don't let this habit kill me. Don't let this sin take me down. Lord, don't allow me. Don't allow me. Don't allow me to go empty and then don't don't allow me, Lord Jesus. Don't allow my life to be away. Don't let this fornication kill me. Don't let this boyfriend. Don't let this boyfriend kill me. Don't let this business make me away. Don't leave me behind. Oh God. Help my soul. Help my soul. Help my soul. We are taking the song only two more times. If Jesus is touching your life, I say let your life be correct. Let's correct every issue. Let there be a revival in your soul. You are saying, Jesus, please help me. Don't let me go empty handed. Holy Spirit, do a work in this meeting. Don't let men go empty handed here. God bless you. Go empty handed. Listen. This. Listen. You might think that it's just like you normally stand up and pray. This may be one of the last opportunity God gives you to make your life right. In the next five minutes, we will be closing this meeting. If Jesus is saying, Get your life right with me today. Can I can you? deliver you from that problem. Please stand up as we pray. We take the song the last time. And those that, those that are standing up, whether you are outside or you are inside, can you please come straight to this altar? Let's get on our knees before the Lord. As Many as the Holy Spirit is convicting, join me here and get yeah, on your knees. The Holy Spirit, you must help my life today. You must turn my life around. Things that people don't know about me. I don't want to be disgraced. Don't allow me. As you are coming, get on your knees. Lift up your two hands to the Lord. We are one, I make it okay. Say, Lord, don't let me go empty handed. Don't let me go empty handed. Don't let me go empty handed. Don't, don't allow my life. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go. Don't die. Remember that Judas Iscariot missed. Demas missed. Gehazi missed it. Esau missed it. Balaam missed it. Many people missed it. Lord, don't let me miss it. Just two more times. Don't die. With your two hands lifted to God. Make it a cry to God this night. Majekin salat on lono yano. Majekin son lojo na yi don't die. Majekin shore mi leba. Majekin yonya mi je. Majekin se kopa te mi je. 
Olorun Olodumare Olorun Olodumare Ba mi Lift up your voice and pray right now Ba Olorun soro Oluwa Mama je kese mi oye Ma je kese yi ko ba temi je Ma je kesu ko gba temi danu Ma je ka ye oyan mi je Olorun Olodumare Ba mi